hi this is love from hanging out with love welcome back to my channel and thank you so so much for being here i do not take this lightly not even a little bit like not even that much not even that much all right so today's video is going to be about trust love and respect ladies and these are things that you absolutely need when you're considering having a life partner all right so many men specifically dusties talk about how women don't trust men and how they're going into situations bringing baggage from previous relationships and that's not always the case how can a woman trust you when you haven't given her anything to trust right so of course i'll dive deeper number one there's no possible way you can go into a relationship trusting a man when he hasn't given you a reason to trust him. And this goes beyond just thinking that he's not going to sleep with anyone else. Women need security. We need financial security. We need physical security, knowing that you will protect us. And we also need emotional security, knowing that you're not going to dishonor us, dishonor our family, and that we won't have to face embarrassment because of you, whether it be you bringing in a side baby or having a woman on the side that does not know her place because her emotions are going to get the best of her at some point, or bringing us a disease back whether we can get rid of it or not that's part of that emotional and physical security right but if i'm going into a relationship with a man who can't hold his own financially i automatically don't trust you no woman will and mentally she may tell herself that she trusts you and that there's more to a man than his money but deep down inside, if you cheat on her, it's going to eat her alive because that's the one thing that's truly not guaranteed. We can't control a man's actions. We can't control what a man is going to be attracted to, right? Even the most beautiful women get cheated on. But the reason why most of those men will not leave their wives is because they have invested so much into her and they have children, and that man would nearly lose everything if he got rid of her for another woman. So although cheating may be a thing and is sometimes inevitable, he doesn't want to risk losing everything, his livelihood, his money, his family, and risking his wife being married to another man or having to pay alimony, right? But when you're dating a Dusty who doesn't have anything to lose, all you can think about is he better not cheat on me. I've sacrificed too much. I'm not even getting anything else out of the relationship. We can't go out. We can't go on a vacation. I have to work all the time, maybe two jobs because he's not holding us down he's not pulling his weight as a man of course she's going to be insecure and in thinking about what you're doing all the time a lot of men are like oh when they have never had a good man they automatically assume you're doing something no she thinks you're doing something because you're a good man with too much time on his hands what are you doing while she's at work right and then when you're off work and you're out having fun, she's still wondering what you're doing because she wants you to be using that free time to get more money so that you can provide. There are a lot of women who held out on a family because they were either married to a Dusty or dating a Dusty. And although they wanted children, they did not feel comfortable 
bringing a baby into that situation and I have been there okay dating a man he's talking about marriage and wanting to have a family sir you are not where you need to be and what woman wants to have that thought that as young and vital and fertile as I am right now I can't have a baby with the person that I'm with and this is why the level up is so important no way she's going to trust you and you don't have your money together no way she's going to trust you and your priorities are all screwed up no way she's going to trust you and you have a gambling problem or a drinking problem or you're on some type of drug right how can I trust you when you have these vices, even if your vice is women? Women cost money, right? There are some women who are married to men that pay for hookers. If he's willing to pay for another woman, do you really want to marry him? No, babe, you don't. Unless he has a ton of money, you won't be sleeping with him and you can take him for everything that he has once you have all of the evidence but who wants to have to go through that to have children with a man who's emotionally unstable and can't keep his penis in his pants think about it so while you're trying to be all kumbaya with craig or with white boy jason who has these big dreams and the money from his trust fund is about to run out and you're thinking about investing into this man and holding him down, think twice because you cannot get this time back and you will never trust him. He can't start off on a level playing field. He can't. See, when we meet a man, if we're attracted to him because of his personality and his charm, he already starts about right here, right? He doesn't start all the way from the bottom. He starts about right here, middle ground, where I can accept you because you've opened your mouth and I'm not disgusted yet, right? Before they open their mouth, they're here. They have to start at ground zero. He opens his mouth. You like what you hear. You like his conversation. You know he has money, boom. From here, this is where he starts to prove himself. Not at the initial conversation, not when he's telling you everything you want to hear right now so he can get your number or attempt to get in your panties tonight, right? So he starts going up from there. But when you already know a man doesn't have anything but that charm in that conversation, he stays here. And then throughout the relationship, as he pisses you off, as he comes in late, as he makes excuses, as he gets upset when you recommend a job to him, it just keeps going downhill from there, babe, because you can't respect him. And respect is not given, it's earned. And this is why I tell you, when you go into these relationships, don't start off giving Dusty all his props. Oh, you're so fine. Oh, I love your car. Make that man prove himself. Because the whole time you're trying to be nice or you're being a pick me and you just want to get chose, you are telling this man, you are the prize and I will accept whatever the hell you're bringing to me. I don't value myself, but nice to meet you, right? Get it together, babe. No way you can trust and truly be in love with a man who's not taking care of you and giving you his absolute best. And no way are we starting with nothing and building a man up, absolutely not. Most women already bring a lot as it is because you're taking care of yourself. So you need a man that can take care of you as well and treat you even better. I love you.